What is up beautiful people? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a makeup look. I got this palette that I showed recently in an unboxing video. This NYX palette that's Avatar The Way of Water and I'm just obsessed. Like I need to play in these blues immediately. So that's what we're doing today. We're doing a makeup look. Hopefully you're excited. If you are, please hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. First, we're going to start with skincare. I haven't put anything on my face yet. The only thing I have on my skin is a little bit of self-tanner, tanning lotion. So we're going to use this Hydrium Watery Toner from COSRX. It's just a good toner for hydration and it has some hyaluronic acid as well. I'm gonna just press that into the skin. Let's move on to the next product. We are going to be using this vitamin C serum from Beekman 1802. It's a Golden Booster Amla Berry Vitamin C Serum. And I have not used this yet, so this is our first time trying it together, but I love a good vitamin C serum, especially in the morning. I am no skincare expert, but I do love skincare, and I do love a good vitamin C serum. This already feels really nice, and it is giving my skin a nice luminosity and vibrance. It's giving me like a lit from within kind of a glow. First impressions, I like this. It doesn't have like a strong scent or anything. The dropper is nice, the packaging is adorable, and I got it for half price, so this is a win so far for me, first impressions. Moisturizer, this is the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion for dry to normal skin, and I'm going to mix it with my sunscreen. This is the e.l.f. Skin 30 SPF Sunscreen in Sun Beam Whoa Glow. It's a sun protection and makeup primer, so we're just gonna mix them, and we're going to apply them to the skin. Last step for skincare slash skin prep for this look is going to be this Jack Black lip balm. This is in the natural mint and shea butter flavor. It also has SPF 25. This is my favorite lip balm because it just keeps my skin, my lips moisturized for hours. And it just feels so comfortable and a little goes a long way. This is a, this is not a want, but a need. If you like lip balms and you've been looking for a lip balm that's like super hydrating and feels really, really great on the skin and is also really good for prepping under lipstick and makeup, this Jack Black lip balm. But I'm not the one who put you on to it. Jackie Ina did. Jackie Ina's the one who told her community about this lip balm and I've been obsessed ever since. It's been like three years. <laughs> I love this lip balm. That's it for skin prep for today. I usually go in with a primer too, like a little elf gripping primer or a setting spray or something like that, but I don't feel like I need it today. My skin's looking very healthy, very juicy. It's feeling very moisturized. So we're just going to go in. First things first, we're going to use this cream bronzer from Makeup Revolution in the shade Medium. I do my makeup by underpainting. So we're going to take this contour brush from Maven Beauty looks like that and we're just going to tap into this once this is extremely pigmented this cream bronzer is extremely pigmented so a little goes a long way we're going to start by pressing this into the cheekbones and all of my natural contours of the skin so the forehead the jaw the cheekbones the nose and the lips all right, that's what the cream contour is looking like. I went ahead and put the ring light on to try to help with some of the lighting. I don't know if it actually helped or made it worse, but hopefully it helped. We're going to now move on to concealer. I'm going to use this Rare Beauty concealer in the shade 210N. It says it has a neutral undertone, but it has more of like a yellow undertone. And I like to use this just right under the eyes to help with the under eye bags and canceling out any darkness. And then I go over it with a lighter concealer as well. So we're just going to let that sit for about 30 seconds to a minute, and then I will blend it out. Rare Beauty is one of my favorite brands, honestly. I love Selena Gomez, but I really do love their product. I've used their cream blushes, their liquid blushes, I mean, their concealers, and I just love the brand. Overall, I love what they stand for, the mental health advocacy, and the products are just quality, and they're not super expensive. Like, I think the concealer is around $20 which is a little bit more than drugstore or affordable makeup, but it's still kind of affordable for like a prestigious brand. And it just blends out so nicely. That is so pretty. Sometimes I will wear this concealer on its own just to cancel out some darkness, but I like it for full glam too because it cancels out my under eye bags and it gives me like a really good base for the concealer that I put on top of it, which is a brightening concealer. My makeup is all about like prep and working underneath 
because it helps with longevity but it also helps like the colors blend together and everything just looks very seamless when I do my makeup this way. So I love underpainting. Now we're going to take this e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Beige and we're going to highlight the face. So I'm going to take it right here, right here, down the center of the nose, a little bit right here on top of Cupid's bow, chin, and I like to reverse contour underneath of the cream bronzer. And then I also apply some to the forehead as well. And then just mirror that on the other side. And we're going to let that sit for another 30 seconds to a minute and I will blend that out as well. The reason I'm letting the concealer sit for 30 seconds to a minute is because these concealers are very hydrating, very luminous, very radiant. So they have more of like a slip to them and they don't dry down very quickly. You're gonna want the concealer to dry down because it'll help with more coverage. If you're using more of like a matte concealer though, you probably wanna go in and blend immediately. Like you wouldn't be able to set this on the face and then work around it. But I can with the concealers that I'm using because they are very hydrating and they blend really, really well. So I like to let them sit for about 30 seconds to a minute so I can get full coverage and maximum blendability. Oh, by the way, if you wanna know what sponge I'm using, I'm using the Sonia Kashuk sponge. You can find it at Target, I believe, for like $5 or possibly order it online. That under eye is sickening. Goodness, I love it. I love this little tip trick technique. Okay, once I finish blending the concealer, I like to take the back of the sponge and just kind of press over where all the harsh lines are so that everything blends together seamlessly. And then I will take my contour brush again with no extra product, just whatever's left on the brush and reinforce the contours. All right, let's move on to foundation. For foundation, we're going to take this House Labs foundation in the shade 220, light, medium, warm. And we're going to use this Anissa Beauty brush that is dirty, but it is my favorite foundation brush right now. It has like a triangular shape and it just blends everything really, really well. So we're going to use my Anissa Beauty foundation brush. We're going to take a pump of this House Labs foundation and we're going to blend everything together. I like to start at my neck and blend upwards. Underpainting helps me to use less product, especially when it comes to foundation. So I like doing my makeup this way. The coverage on this foundation from House Labs is stunning. And the finish is also absolutely stunning. I've worn this foundation maybe three times, possibly four times now. I'm still testing it out, but it's gorgeous. It gives me like a nice skin-like finish. I only need about one pump to do my whole face. And it seems to wear pretty well as well. And it mixes with all of the other products that I use underneath of it and on top of it. And I just don't have anything bad to say about this House Labs foundation, truly. My go-to foundation is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear 24 hour one because it has such a nice natural radiant looking finish and it's long wearing and it has good coverage. Honestly, this House Labs foundation is pretty similar to that, but like, you can definitely tell that this one's high end and it just looks really good on the skin. So this is worth the splurge. If you have $45 or more to spend on foundation, this is worth the splurge. But if not, L'Oreal Infallible. Let's move on to powder so we can set this face in place. I'm going to take my sponge and just tap out any creases under the eye. And then we're going to take an oldie but goodie. This is the Cody Airspun in Translucent Extra Coverage. And it always makes a mess. So let's try not to make a mess today. Oh, I didn't, I did. Yeah, I made a little bit of a mess. No problem. No worries, no worries, it happens. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. Everybody knows what, what I'm talking about. Everybody gets that way. Okay, we're using the Cody Airspun powder today because I need my makeup to last. And my skin is looking very juicy, very dewy, and I love it, but I do want to set this in place so that it doesn't move around. So we're going to take about that much, and I always, press it off into the palm of my hand or the back of my hand, and we're just going to press that into the under eye. I am going to bake today, and if you are unfamiliar with the baking process, what that means is I'm going to apply a bunch of powder in specific spots to help to not only hold my makeup in place for a long time, but also to reinforce the highlights of my face. I like to just set 
the under eyes lightly first before going in and doing the baking because my under eyes don't really need a lot of powder. Most people's under eyes don't really need a lot of powder. So it's a very thin part of your skin if you think about it that way. Your under eyes are very thin. So think about that in terms of like how much powder, how much concealer, how much product you're putting on on top of your eyes. Okay, so now that my face is pretty much all set in place, we're going to take more powder and I'm not going to take off any of the excess, but I am going to just press this right here on the outside and then right here on the nose. And I will apply just a little bit down here because we are going to be doing eyeshadow. And then I like to carve out the contours. So we'll place this right under the cheek. I love the Cody Airspun powder because it has coverage and because it's pigmented. Some setting powders are not pigmented and that's okay. Sometimes that's not your journey. Sometimes your journey is something that is very translucent and doesn't have any coverage to it. And it makes your skin look very nice and skin-like. But this, no, this is going to set you in place. This is not moving. My face is not going to move. So that's that. We're going to let it bake in place while I move on to eyes. Let's move on to the eyes. I went ahead and pulled you up as close as I possibly could. And we're going to move on to this NYX eyeshadow palette. Like this color story is just stunning. You cannot tell me that the color story isn't stunning. The blues, the greens, it's also neutral. They have browns in here and some grays and blacks. Like this is an everyday wearable palette. It may not look like it on first glance, but it truly is an everyday wearable palette. And I'm so excited to tap into this. One thing I wanted to mention though, is that this is a color palette, not an eyeshadow palette, which I do believe makeup brands have to disclose that now if it's not technically eye safe. But it is a vegan formula and I am going to use all of these on my eye. I just wanted to mention that because some of these colors do have like a little asterisk beside them and it says over here on the palette if it has an asterisk that it's for face only not eyes but there's like a pigmented shimmery blue and then like a shimmery purple and i'm like who's using that on the face no but i think the makeup brands now have to disclose that just in case there is any like staining that happens afterwards so I just wanted to make mention of that and let you guys know that this is technically a color palette for face and eyes, but I'm going to use all my eyes today. And I'm so obsessed with this wood sprite color, like it has to go all over my lids. It has to. It's stunning. It's like this icy color with like a mint reflect. I'm obsessed. It's going all over the lid. It is. It just, it is. It's going all over the lid. I am going to film one eye here and then I'm going to do the other eye on TikTok. So let's just go into it. We're going to use this Profusion Cosmetics Eyeshadow Base Pigment Adhesive Primer. I got too much, but that's okay. That happens. Okay, so my goal is to use as many colors from the palette as I possibly can, but I want this to be a blue look because I haven't done blue eyeshadow in such a long time. And I feel very inspired to do blue eyeshadow. So first we're going to take this color up here, this blue one right here by my finger called Unobtainium. And we're going to take a nice, fluffy tapered blending brush and apply that to the crease. That looks like pigment to me. So we're going to tap off the excess and we're going to start out here on the outer corner. And I'm just going to place it first and then I'll start blending. Blues, reds, purples are really difficult to work with, especially if you're not using like a transition color or anything like that. And I'm not, I'm just going right into it because I feel like playing with makeup today it doesn't look like that color in the pan, but I mean, it's still a nice, pretty color. It's just that I thought it was lighter, so I was trying to use it as like my blue transition shade, but it's definitely like a medium blue. That's okay, we'll make it work. Um, so this is what it's looking like, and that is not what it looks like in the pan at all. I'm actually having a really hard time blending this, and I don't ever have a hard time blending eyeshadows like this. This is the color that I used, right? This is the color that came off on my eye. It's like gray and it does not blend very well. It's like also super patchy. I'm really upset, but it's okay. We're gonna make this work. We're gonna make it work. It's going to be fine. I'm going to fix it, save it, solve it, whatever. Let's move on to this color down here in the corner, Metcaina Reef. We're gonna take the same brush. This is what it looks like. We're gonna tap off the excess and let's see if this makes it better or worse. Oh, immediately better. This color has much more pigment. Interesting, okay. I'm just interested to see like why that first color did not work. 
I was so excited about this palette and then I tapped in that first color and it did me dirty. It did me very dirty. I wasn't planning on going like this dark, this grungy. Okay, the second color is so much better. This palette's definitely workable. I'm having to blend so long to get it to look decent. Let's keep working with it. Let's keep using it. I think I am actually going to take this Met Kyena Reef color that we just used and apply that to the lower lash line as well because I do really like this color. It's definitely giving more green than it is blue now and that's okay because we're going to move into another blue color. This one's a little bit darker. It's called Azure Waters. This one right here. And we're going to use a soft defining brush. It just has a little bit of like a blue stain on it. It's not actually blue, but I figured that would work well for this. Let me show you what it looks like on the brush. Again, nice pigment, tapping off the excess. We're just going to put this in the lower lash line, and then we're going to put this in the outer corner and just kind of blend it into the crease, keeping it low. I like this blue color too. The first blue color was a bust, but the other two colors I've been using are really nice. They blend well, they have pigment, they're adding definition to the look, they're not difficult to blend. I mean, it's a little bit longer for me to blend than I'm used to with my normal eyeshadows, but it's still blendable. It's still doing the thing, you know? Okay, we're going to take the original brush, the fluffy blending brush, and we're just going to go over everything, blend everything out. No additional product on this brush. I don't know also if I'm just like not used to wearing like dark smoky eyes like this because I haven't done a look like this in a really long time so maybe i'm just like oh it looks weird because i haven't done it like this in a while but also that first color threw me off <laughs> threw me off i'm actually going to cut the crease so we're going to take the elf camo concealer and we're going to cut the crease i haven't done this in a while because normally i don't have to because i don't struggle this much with blending but i'm having a tough time today so i'm just going to take a little concealer like brush and we're going to carve out the crease Okay, that looks good enough to me. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be amazing. It doesn't have to be full coverage, but it looks good enough to me. So we are now going to take the wood sprite color, this one, and we're going to pop that on the lid. I'm going to use my finger first, just to see. We're gonna take the ring finger and we're gonna just pop that on the lid. This color is stunning. I don't have any words for this color. Like, I just don't. It's literally the perfect shimmer shade for me right now. That's the full fantasy. It's not super shimmery and like glittery, but it has like a really pretty shimmer sheen. I do kind of want to see what it looks like if I spritz a brush. I'm going to take that wood spray color again, just pick some up on the brush, and I'm going to spritz it with some spray. This is the NYX spray. And we're going to see if that does anything. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's exactly what I wanted. I love this shimmer so much. Like I would bathe in this shimmer. Bathing in this shimmer. Oh my God, it's freaking gorgeous. I have not been this excited about an eyeshadow in such a long time. Like I don't know what's happening, but I'm living. That is stunning. You can't tell me it's not. You just, you can't tell me it's not. I mean, I mean, I'm even going to take some on the brow bone because it's just so gorge. That is pretty. We're going to take the original brush again just to reinforce and to blend all of the colors together and make sure there's no harsh lines. All right, so we're going to take this Revlon Color Stay 24 Hour Eyeliner in the shade Black Brown. And we're going to just put this in the waterline. I like that. You can't really tell much on camera, but it just makes everything look more like cohesive. It just makes everything blend well together in my opinion. So we're gonna tight line now. And then I will take this little blue brush that we had and just kind of smoke that out a little bit. Set it in place. And that's the eye look. For mascara, we're going to be using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, the original one, not the one that has gone viral. 
recently. This is the original telescopic one. We're going to take it and we're going to use this little wand and apply it to the lashes. Personally, I don't like this mascara. I don't like the wand. I don't like the formula. That is with mascara. I'm going to end up applying falsies off camera, but also, oh my God, I know you guys have heard me complain about this before, but the wand just like does not go in there. Like I don't know what the problem is, but the wand just does like not go in there. Oh, this mascara drives me nuts. I'm ready to be done with it, but let me go ahead and go film the TikTok and I will be back. All right, I finished the TikTok and this is what the eye look is looking like. I went ahead and did my brows off camera and I did lashes off camera too. I haven't worn lashes in a really long time and these are stunning. These are by Maven Beauty and they're in the style 05. That's just what they're called, 05. But I like these. They're also 100% vegan and cruelty free. These are really pretty and they went on very easily. And I used this Velour Lash Glue, but it has a brush tip and it's just so nice for putting on the lash band. 10 out of 10 recommend this lash glue, period. It looks really, really good. And the lashes went on really, really easily. So let's move on. I wanna do lips now for some reason. I feel called to do lips. All right, so for lips, we're going to take this NYX Professional Makeup Lip Liner in the shade Nude Truffle. It's like a little brown nude kind of a color. Let me show you. That's what it looks like. I'm just going to line the lips with this. I love this lip liner. It's like perfect for my skin tone. So if you have like a light or light medium skin tone, this nude truffle is really, really pretty. It's like a brown pinky nude and it works really well for my skin tone. I like this a lot. So that's the lip liner. Now we're going to apply this MAC Bullet Lipstick that is discontinued. I'm sorry, but I got this at TJ Maxx and I really wanted to try it out. It's called Laissez Faire. It looks like that. I'll swatch this for you too. It's a very like sheer lipstick, but I think that this will look really good together. And honestly, I feel like it just married the lip liner together. Everything looks really, really pretty. I like this lip combo. I also like that it gives my lips like a little bit of a natural sheen. I don't know if you can tell, but it gives it like a natural sheen. It's not shiny, it's not glossy, it's not sticky, but my lips look healthy and hydrated and they have like a really nice pretty sheen to them. I like this a lot. So that's the lip combo. Let's do contour and blush. All right, so for contour slash bronzer, we're going to use this pretty vulgar bronzer in the shade Bronzed B Bronze Mannequin. We're just going to take a brush. This is the ColourPop F20. I'm gonna tap off the excess, and I'm going to start right here at the back. And I like to just press that into the skin. It will blend later. I forgot that this is very pigmented, so we're going to take this into the forehead as well and then we'll start blending in nice little circular motions. I always hold my brushes at the back for eyeshadow, for face products, because it allows more like mobility and it allows you to blend a little bit easier. So just circular motions here. We're gonna blend this to about right there in the cheek. And then we're just gonna blend that around the face as well. Forehead, the other side of the cheek, and the jawline. Okay, so for the nose, we're going to use the same powder, but we're going to use this soft definer brush from Zoeva. It's the 227V, and I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that, tap off the excess, and then I'm going to start right here where my brow meets my nose, and we're just going to blend down the nose. I'm actually going to stop about like halfway in today instead of taking it all the way down my nose like I normally do just feel like stopping halfway today but we are going to contour the nose a little bit i'm just putting a little bit on the tip of my nose too we're going to take this elf bronzing brush but i always use it for blush because i like the way that it's shaped and i like the way that it fits in my face and we're going to use this maven beauty blush in the shade plush i'm just going to put this here at the top of my cheekbones and then we'll work my way to the back of the face. I like to do my blush in like a circular C shape. And I like this blush because it's like buildable. It doesn't start out super pigmented, but you can work up the pigment if you have my kind of a skin tone. If you have a deeper skin tone, I really don't know if this is going to show up on you. I have no idea, but I really don't think that it will. I really like this blush and it also lasts a really long time. So next we're going to move on to highlight. I'm going to take this highlighting palette from Milani. This is in Rose Glow. We're just going to mix all three of the shades because I like to. I'm gonna put this on the high point of my face. So the cheekbones. I'm going to add it to the brow bone highlight that we have. 
a little bit above the brow, down the center of the nose, on top of the cupid's bow, and down the neck a little bit. That's just kind of what I'm feeling today. You can put highlight wherever you want to put highlight. It's your life. All right, next to last step is going to be setting spray or some kind of mist that you like to use. This is the NYX Bear With Me spray that I always use. I'm going to melt the powders down and help everything to stay in place all day. I always like to take my sponge and use the back part of it too to like press the spray into my skin. All right, and then the last little step of the day is lower lash mascara. So we're going to go ahead and go back in with this telescopic mascara and we're going to use this on the lower lash line. It already transferred a little bit. I really can't stand this mascara. This has been our makeup tutorial. L'Oreal, what are you doing? Like, L'Oreal, what is this? Why does, why does it not go in the tube? Okay, and that is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something from this video or you just had fun watching. Please let me know in the comment section down below if you did enjoy this video, if you want to see me try out other things in the future, if you want more content just like this, let me know. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already. That's it for me though in today's video. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay hydrated, take care of yourself, and I will see you all in the next one.